This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Skillshare. The first 500 people to click the link below get two months free. Yeah, man. Fly, you fools. Go fast. Do it. I'm going to fight a Balrog. His name's Jason Murphy. You know how this ends, right? You fall in a hole. Yeah, but then I come back uh, more powerful than ever. I'm seeing the movies. That's not how the Balrog does it. That's not how Gandalf does it. He doesn't use a Gandalf foo on the Balrog. I don't even know what martial art this is. I dare you. Just, I dare you. Ah! Safety still on. They have a safety. But this is. Sweet Christmas! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, yeah, it just we'll, we'll be seeing you. That was lovely. Modern Rogue was fun. That's, uh, uh, it was a good time. The grown-ups know what they're doing, Ooh, my goodness. Hey guys. I peed a little bit. Building the pneumatic cannon. I don't believe in the secret, but we definitely put it out to the universe that we needed help, and all of a sudden, Evan and Caitlin appear in our lives. <laughs> I know you keep saying you're not experts, but you kind of look like experts. I mean, you certainly look competent. Competent. That's experts. We, we get confused. Mm, modern To rogue. an ant, everything is the sky. We are expert <laughs> amateurs. Yes. So this whole thing began when you watched us multiple times try to get better and better making our own potato cannon, yeah. AKA Charlotte. Hello, baby. Uh, with, with, with middling success. That's, that's not responsible. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> no. We saw the pain that you went through with yours and we faced the same thing. Our propane cannon worked and it was fun, but you never know when it's gonna fire. Okay, okay. Which is bad. So let's talk about the fundamentals. We used hairspray inside the main chamber. Yep. We used a barbecue lighter to create a spark and we would go click, click, click. And, mm -hmm. and hopefully if the timing was right and the fuel air mixture was at the right level, yep. it would happen to fire and we were able to shoot a potato, uh, behead a changeling. The changeling. Yeah, yeah. Changeling. yeah. the changeling yeah. was defeated. He was defeated, yeah. The fact that this is a flammable fuel tells me you're doing the same thing in a much more direct way. I would imagine fuel goes in, mm -hmm. fuel air mixture here, at some point you press an igniter, explosion happens, yep. and blasts everything out. Yes. Yes. What is the functional difference? Because I remember at one point being afraid that PVC wasn't strong enough. Like, like that I, I was terrified that the PVC was gonna, was gonna explode gonna in, our, in our face. What should you look for when it comes to what materials to make this out of? We use Schedule 80. So that's a step above what most people use Schedule 40. And that just means there's a higher pressure rating, especially because we're using a larger chamber. The bigger pipe you get, the lower pressure rate it is for the schedule it is. Ah, okay. Yeah. Sorry, so schedule... I, 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 he did that thing where he said, ah, like he oh, understood yeah. any of that. I, 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 schedule, uh, schedule 40 versus Schedule 80. Schedule 80 is tougher? Yeah, it's gonna be tougher. And what Evan was saying is if it's a Schedule 80 pipe this size, it's yep. stronger than a Schedule 80 pipe this size. Is there a fuel air mixture in, in this? Because it looks like you only just have the benzene just plugged right in. Yeah. yeah. That part's kind of guesswork, and that's where our trouble. Stoichiometry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, okay. it gets everyone. Now, <laughs> theoretically, <laughs> theoretically. So proud this... of yourself. Sweet <laughs> 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 <Just, laughs> <geometry. laughs> Well, here, let's, let's disassemble this a little bit. Is this just food grade hosing or? It's reinforced hosing, so it's pressurated. Because you don't want yeah. it bop, popping open. So I'm assuming the reason this works every time, most times, <laughs> is because the fuel is shooting through, but these holes draw in the oxygen as yes. well. So you have the fuel and the oxygen, and somewhere up in here, I assume there's a little spark that yeah. gets that started, right? And it should work every time. Now that I have this turned up. Yep, yep. But as it gets farther. See, uh, uh, Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I, felt, I, felt, oh, I felt something. And no. that is essentially the basic principle of what we're doing here without yeah. the pressurization building. So, so I'm, I'm priming you, this. You can actually then... see it. It's a timing thing. Once yeah. you're convinced this is a fuel air mixture, then you're popping it yeah. and you're getting that. And over this short of a period, it's pretty reliable. Mm -hmm. We could actually get it to travel about 10 feet. So we had 10 feet of tube and the flame traveled boom, boom, oh, back and forth. So we thought it looked forth. really cool. Gotcha. Yeah. It looks very sci-fi. So we have a Kleenex? Can we get like just a proof of concept? Like a Sabo? Just, yeah, let me, let me get <laughs> oh, here, no, here, here, here we go. All right, all right, here we go. Ah, see, this is the problem. This is what we, we found. Mm -hmm. Since it's closed, this isn't able to pull in the and air. Because uh. it's like a river, it's the current that yeah. is drawing in. Yeah, Got it. so it's okay. not able yeah. to flow as easily. So with this, we actually had to build a bypass chamber because our bullet fully sealed from the top. Oh my God, we're shooting bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 This is some real grown up stuff. What is this? 
the 3D printed bullet. <laughs> okay, all right, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? So we didn't bring the dangerous one when, when we shot it ourselves to blow up watermelons. I mean, they're all pretty dangerous. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. <laughs> we embedded no, half just... inch ball bearings though, inside of this. I like you guys. <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> <laughs> this 3D printed bullet is magnetic. Oh, press pause on this, because yeah. I, I, I could tell that, that, that there's, there's rifling. I assume that's so that it spins around and, and goes let, straight. And okay. to let a little bit of air, air pass mm -hmm. so to keep the fuel air mixture going. Got going it. Good. 3D printed bullet in a 3D printed chamber? Is that chamber. what this is? Okay, yeah. all right. And there's a neodymium magnet at the back of this. To keep it locked in so it doesn't roll yep. out well, also, so you're able to hold it down. The first time we fired this, we let the propane flow in, and it was such a tight seal, the bullet just started moving forward. So and you, needed, you needed to hold it back. You needed to hold it back. Yeah. So okay. you put a magnet and then this 3D filament has iron embedded in it. Got it. So there's not like a separate magnet embedded in here. No. You're just saying that the filament itself is magnetic. Okay. The so you, filament you had... itself is magnetic. <gasps> okay. It is, look, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> okay, so that's the bullet. Talk to me about the bypass to get fuel in okay. the air in the mixture. Okay, so you see how it's airtight? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What I assume that does is that it allows pressure to build up, causing it to fire faster because you're not wasting any of that forward momentum yeah, with leaks. You want it to be airtight, but the problem with the propane, if the propane can't get past that, this, it can't flow and it can't pull in the air. So we built this bypass chamber right here, and then the flow goes through these vents up around here back down there. Because you are running over a very short amount of time, a controlled burn explosion that yeah. needs to keep feeding itself as it blasts out with force, ejecting that guy. And as soon as it explodes, this will start moving. And then by the time it gets here, it'll fully seal. And then it will transfer all of the force to accelerate it down the long chamber. Oh, fascinating. So this will actually fly at a much faster velocity than any potato. Yeah, th th this flow yeah. flies fast. We shot one all the way down like a... A huge parking lot and we could no, not find it. It was gone. Yeah, and then okay, we have to go through a watermelon. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> talk me through all this. So if, if I'm remembering everything we've learned, first of all, you have your fuel source with the propane. Yes. Mm. This is not map gas, this is propane. Mm. You have it connected through here that pumps into the chamber. Combustion chamber. The chamber uh, is uh, hopefully as a fuel air mixture because of the fuel and the fact that you're getting air in there. Mm -hmm. Once that is primed and ready to go, when you pop this, the, the same way that you get it to uh, do that, with a piezoelectric spark, it's able to launch. Then your load is right up here in front. The blast comes right there. up. Yep. As the explosion happens, there's just enough air so that it, 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 it continues to feed it as it goes forward, at which point, like once it hits here, yeah. all of a sudden you have a perfect seal and there's only one way for it to go. And that's blasting forward with the rifling on there, keeping this spinning to keep it accurate as it slides right out the front. Sciencing, we're <laughs> sciencing, we're science adjacent. This, this is uh, going to turn the tide in the battle against the changelings. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right. Should have brought the changeling. There have been sightings around the modern rogue HQ. Yeah, we have to be careful. I don't want to frighten anyone. Okay, no. everyone remain calm, remain. Don't freak out! <laughs> <laughs> don't freak, Emma! All right, let's all gather around for this explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Explain to me the benefit of an extra long barrel. So you look impressive to your friends. <laughs> That's what I assumed. <laughs> let's take it to an extreme. Let's say that the barrel was only as long as this. Okay. It would just go boop. Okay. So it wouldn't have time to build up the acceleration. Right. The longer the barrel, the longer it has time for the expanding gas to push on it. But there's gotta be like a limiting factor yes. there. Like you can't do like a barrel that's like six blocks long. Next video. Can, can we? <laughs> Unless yeah. you have like a scuba tank, like 10,000 PSI or oh, something sure. up to it. Something that's then able to expand longer it. the better. No Diminishing need. returns though. So when we fire this without ordnance, right? Yes. There, there's yes. nothing in here. Nothing in it. If we get really lucky, we'll be able to see the fire travel down the tube. Okay. Hit this, expand, and then shoot out. Yeah. It seems super safe. Yeah, I mean, there's no exposed insulation. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's glass insulation. Fiberglass. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, all right, yeah, we're yeah, good, yeah. we're good. All right. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, oh, we need to tilt it down. Oh, wait, because the gas is heavier? I don't know what like it just seems to work. It just better. seems to work better it's when it's tilting scientific. down. Now you're talking our <laughs> yeah. language. I knew we belonged together. I knew we'd catch up. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so I, I caught it over here. Let me see if I can catch it again. Right. Yeah, that was a little one. Yeah.
Oh, there it is. You can see it all yeah, the way yeah. across. One more? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a oh, little, little one. one. That was a little one. Oh, oh, that moved some, some paper down there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was a good wow. one. That, that shot something. something. That oh shot something. God. Was that Did a that? bug? What was that? It's a magnet. It's the magnet. Oh, it's the magnet. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We, are from we, we, we just got the crowd. Like we, uh, that was oh. almost a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> We almost got the crowd. <laughs> uh, uh, lesson kids, treat all firearms as if they're loaded. So normally, this would be protected by the bullet. Right. And the bullet would take the force. Yeah. But the bullet wasn't in there. So I feel like we're kindred spirits here in that we both had essentially the same design between our Charlotte and your. Did you ever name yours? No. Oh, you should have named no. yours. You should have named it. But the Crucial problem mistake. is. Both of them, oh, you called it the crucial mistake. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Yes. They were both unreliable to fire yeah. and they had similar setups and mechanisms. Yep. We want something that's going to be a little bit more reliable. And from the comments, it sounds like pneumatic cannons are the way to go. Yeah. We had a lot of people requesting pneumatic cannons and they were saying that we were going to enjoy it way more because it was going to be way more reliable and not explodey. A more reliably kind. explodey. Yes. Yeah. There you go. So you, uh, know, you know what's really useful for a pneumatic cannon? A solenoid. It's a gizmo that hooks up uh, to electricity and then you do a thing and then it flips the switch. Whereas a human hand could only twist this so fast, yeah. a solenoid, it goes deep and it goes flip flop and then boo. Flip flop, boom. That's this is all science. Yeah, I that's, mean, take, take that, Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> right, you know. I remember that episode also, of MacGyver, Also, actually. for the record, Gravity was a good movie. If you hold this. Yes. You hold this right here. Okay. And then plug that we're in. Plug in the thing, we're, we're gonna do a deal. And this is, I assume, some amount of pressure on one side uh, release out the other side. Yep, there's an arrow to direct flow. So pressure so, on this side, Yeah. bullet on this side. Okay, and then should I apply pressure? <laughs> <laughs> there's not a magnet that's gonna no, shoot. No, no, no magnet. Right, right, here we go, here we go, ready? Right. Okay, so yeah. here, do I need to flip this yep. trigger here? Yep, and then button. <laughs> <laughs> Science! Magic. Nailed it. So there, there's even a story behind this particular switch. Our mutual friend, Bill. Yeah, Duran. Bill Duran. Oh, Bill Duran. Yeah. Punish Props gave this switch to us. What? And it was given to him by Adam Savage. <gasps> yeah. He gave it to you, though? Yeah. All he did was put green sh all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a cool <laughs> switch. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> I'm going to call him. This is a project box you could get, like, a, like at a fries or a... Mm -hmm. Or from Adam Savage. Or it triggers this solenoid that is a binary off-on position. Mm -hmm. So you can have an immense amount of pressure built up on one side that just suddenly gets released all at once, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, what do we have to build said pressure? Pressure so this, chamber. This is, this is the pressure chamber. Okay. Now, what, what we got to build that, the pressure... It looks like a bicycle pump. It, it is kind of like a bicycle pump, but... It farts. Power. It's a farting bicycle pump. The arrow, the arrow goes that way, yep. so that means that this has to go in here. So this Boom is... Boom goes that way. Right, okay. Wait, I feel... No, nope, I'm undoing it from there. <laughs> so if this explodes, we know who to blame. It's gonna be great. Uh, all right. uh, uh, this all feels, feels right, good. and this is all Teflon tape on yep. there to seal in all the gaps. Just to know how much we're pressurizing it, we added a little uh, so you don't pressure guess. hickey. You, pressure don't, you don't just guess? Yeah. You, don't, you don't just... Uh... Well, to each his own, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we still have glitter on the vise. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed that. <laughs> this is the pressure chamber right here, and to hold the pressure chamber in, we just added a little bike valve right here. Okay. So it is like a bike bump. Yeah. And the pressure chamber is not just this area, but but I assume also the curve as well. Up to the valve. Do we know in an explosion what the PSI is in those moments? This pump can only pump up to 120 PSI. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of this is rated over 200. Okay. Great. Now, we want to hold this pump to the weapon itself. So, 3D printed. Look at these what? MFers. They make <laughs> zip ties were good enough for the rest of us. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm helping. I'm How helping, How many Jason. people does it 
take to... We're all act. helping. Here, you want these? You want these little knobs? I got yep, the knobs. Yep, yep, do the knobs. You guys are doing a great job. <laughs> so also, just because with 3D printing, complexity is free, you notice how on the back, you don't need to use a wrench to hold these bolts. Right, because they're they all sunk in. in the recesses. You're really fancy. I am pretty fancy. The biggest difference over Charlotte is we get to know what the pressure is. We get yep. to know when it's primed, ready to fire. We have a solenoid for a very precise reliable release of pressure. Mm -hmm. There's a safety. And a sa safety, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 what is whoa, all whoa. this? <laughs> you got the, uh, wh where do you get all of these parts? Uh, at, at the, at the, the potato the store? store. <laughs> yeah. potato. They're in the produce section at HEB, it's like. PVC, potatoes. It's alphabetical. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> so you got an L bend here that goes onto a standard uh, tire, uh, bicycle tire inflator, and then a, another L bend on there. And I assume you're supposed to do something like this. Yeah, just push it on, boom. There we go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, we, I need a... And so this is battery powered, the inflation unit? Yeah, it has a battery inside of it. And you can go ahead and set the pressure that you want it to inflate to, and it will just, pump until it's at the pressure and then stop. Can we fire this bad boy? Like just yeah. empty? Are we ready? Well, yeah. well, well, you don't want to be carrying around that impressive battery pack right here. So I think you should- <laughs> Of course you have a clamp for it. I think you should mount it first. This is amazing. <laughs> Mounts, that's, that's what we've been missing. <laughs> One thing you can do with 3D printing is you can embed metal threads inside of the 3D print. This is a, what, like a PLA plastic yeah. or something like that? Yeah. Uh, uh, do you just, you just wedge it in with your thumb while it's still soft you or? You heat set it. You leave a hole and then and then you heat it up and then you squish it in. Yep. There you go. Yeah, I, yeah. I can learn. So there's actually an attachment you get for your soldering iron. Okay. And you just rest it on there, it heats up and then you push it in. Now is it specifically for dealing with PLA? It's for plastics in general. Okay. Yeah. So thermoset plastics. So this is the internals right here. And both of these switches are just interrupts in the positive. So uh, this is, I assume, just like a cell phone battery pack? This is a 12 volt battery pack that you can buy online and okay. it's rechargeable. And the great thing is how you recharge it is you connect everything, you plug in the charger there. So it charges through the same way that it discharges. Yeah. And so in this case, I assume the solenoid wants to see what, like a 12 volt, needs to flip the, the relay that'll cause the solenoid to switch. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. We're gonna go ahead and mount this right there. And then it'll be nice and secure. Fix that in place. Good to go. This has a battery in it, so it can fill up the tube with pressure. This has a battery in it to trigger the solenoid. And then just let it go and it'll charge it's up moving. right there. That's enough. Uh, we, we have like virtually nothing right virtually there. Virtually nothing. Okay, yeah. but it's staying at virtually nothing. Yeah. At which point, I'm gonna aim this away from you. Uh, now we're not safe. Now we're really not safe. Yeah. And then now... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a little boof. It's like a little... Just a cute little boof. If I were to leave this open, and now this is discharged, as I hit this... Yeah, it'll just flow straight through. Yeah, you'll be able to feel it. Yeah, like barely anything coming out here. Yeah. So a sabot is used to shoot irregular things out and create an airtight seal around the thing you're shooting. Uh, wadding is what I think of. Uh, same, yeah. same thing. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. That opens up. So it should a, theoretically uh... open up once it's out of the barrel. You guys have a proper tamping stick. Did you name the tamping stick? You want to do the honor? <laughs> this is the other nice thing is we ran the risk of all pushing the all the way into the You can go the chamber. Go into, yeah, that's good. Yeah. But, but, but that can't happen because yeah. it gets tiny yeah. here. So yeah. we, don't, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, uh, we are now not safe. Are we ready? 60 PSI. Ready. <laughs> oh, wow. That did it. Uh, Dude. Yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, that was right, smart. Right. Yeah, you, you made it safe again. I didn't even think it worked, and then I see, it was so fast, I see the confetti raining down. <laughs> we saw the confetti raining down. Full build, we're, this looks like it's less than $150. Hey, let's put some of yeah, the pig blood definitely. in there. No, 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 no. Uh, but I do think we should take it outside. And then we must name her or him. Mm. 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 It is test time. Full disclosure, we didn't even tell Charlotte we were doing this. She's resting in the corner. She's tired. Her glittery eyes wanted to take a little nap. <laughs> she and doesn't have out. anything to prove, Brian. That's fine. So let's start with crucial mistake. Now this one only works with your 3D printed bullets, right? That are magnetic. Uh, that are magnetic. Uh, um, except for the times that you shoot the magnet out yeah. of it. <laughs> Not gonna let that go, <laughs> are you? Never, never. You Kevin, you wanna load me up? All right, safety is disengaged here. Fingers crossed. Three, two, 
One. Oh, the ghost of Charlotte. You can do it. <laughs> Maybe I need to tilt it down more. Yeah, hold it up from higher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks even cooler. Three, two, one. that gourds were so bulletproof. <laughs> like, that's amazing. Dude! Well, now it's gone forever. Look at that, <laughs> look, at, look at that. Look at that. That's a clean cut. It, it is. It's, uh, I, I, I feel like- I also love the crack. Yeah. You can wow. see the impact on there and all the moisture released all the way across. That was a precise solid hit. You were worried about your aim, but that thing was dead that, solid. That, that was really good. That was really good. I want to see what happens when Ooh. you hit something already damaged if it just disintegrates. Let's on do there. it. We got to load the ordnance in the thing that should not bean. Is that no? No, <laughs> yeah, a, I'm, still, I'm still working on yeah, it. No. <laughs> got to workshop that a little bit. Oh, there we go. I think, oh, I, think, yeah. I, think I helped. I oh, think nice. I did good. All right. All right. Tamp that down. Oh, that's. You can feel the pressure. Oh, yeah. As I, I it pushed it down, air leaked around the round and went. <laughs> all right, we got a good feel. Okay, all right, hit unit and then power. Yeah. Okay. All right. all right, and then I'm checking over here. Yeah. And how many PSIs do we want it to build up to again? Ooh. We can go to 120 max. Our test shot was 60. As it reaches higher pressures, it'll struggle more and more and more. Oh, that's right. And that's well below. This is all rated 200, you yeah. said? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. I feel okay about this. We're just over 60. Yep. Okay. I'm going to say let's, let's stop here. Okay. All right, cool. And uh, Jason, let's make this a team effort. All right, Murphy, activate safety protocol Delta. Safety, Wait, you should probably start with Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> safety protocol Alpha, engage. Engage safety protocol Beta. Safety protocol Beta, You engage. are free to fire in five, four, three, two. Oh! <laughs> 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 Nice shot, sir. <laughs> Almost right on top. Uh, th we, we pulled the Robin Hood of, of oh potato God. cannons. Go is it, isn't, is it in there? Did it I mean, you can, see, you can see bits and pieces of it around. Pumpkins have a particular smell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, here. Hold on. Do you want me to grab the bullet? Yeah. Can we... Tiny hands. Look at that. <laughs> this has potato bits on it too. Oh my god. Oh wow. So the potato went in and hit this bullet. Hit the bullet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna. I don't want you to feel bad. So he'll be all like, uh, Yeah, I seen your YouTube channel. It's not that great. <laughs> your first build was. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of garbage. My uncle built a real cool cannon once. <laughs> Shut up, Steve. That's a, oh, oh, I'm sorry, man. You're I'm a you. I'm just trying to help, bro. I, I love him. you guys. Let's do, this. do we want to go up all the way up to 120? It's up to you guys. I mean, actually, I, mean, I would. I, I, I feel like we do. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, we're gonna have to. Yeah, you're right. You can tell that it's like having Shut to work. It's, bit, yeah. it's, it's having to work a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. You can hear the motor slowing. Yeah. Maybe we should stop it. Oh. oh okay. Just shy of 100. Safety protocol alpha. Safety protocol beta. Free to fire. Oh! <laughs> Did it go through? It went, it, went, it went in. Oh, it's what? still in there. It's still in there. Pumpkins, Pumpkins are tough. Okay, this is really brutal. Yeah. I'll get a but I kind of want to stick the barrel right here. Right in there, yeah. Yes. And then blow out the back. Is that is that too gory? I mean, he there said go. bad Hold things on. about there our YouTube channel. He did. There we go. There's okay. that. There's that. He did say bad things yeah. about your YouTube channel. Yeah, no, he did. <laughs> I feel very wrong <laughs> all right listen up internet commenter number 2576 your time has come for the crimes of, of being real nasty on the internet yeah you're a real-time jingle blaster yeah you're a real-time jingle blaster <laughs> is that what this would be called a jingle, jingle blaster? blaster yes yeah, yeah. Have a name. yeah. yeah. <laughs> engage the jingle blaster safety protocol alpha Alpha engaged. Safety protocol beta. Beta engaged. Jingle blaster away in three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power what? How? of internet commenters. How? What's with all the stopped. smoke? It's fog. Uh, uh, air pressure differential causes all the fog yep. to come out of the air. It's, it's moisture like, in the air. Yeah, yeah. like the when we in vaped there. the. Exactly. Yep. Safety. 
Off. You think nobody's listening to your comments? That's your crucial mistake. So oh! Holy oh! Shit. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, Watch uh, out! Uh, 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 uh. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I found this on the property the other day. I believe it to be a changeling egg sac. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh. What? Oh. Changeling egg sacs can hold up to 12 changeling larvae. Wait, uh... We need to put our heaviest, most reliable armaments against this. Should pumpkins have veins? Okay, so we'll just fire two at once, right? We can have the pneumatic ready yeah. to go. And then as soon as we fire the propane, we follow it up with a one-two punch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sir, reaching maximum of 120 in five, four, three, two. We are at 120 PSI. All right. Holding let's, steady, sir. Let's do it. Once you fire Operation Crucial Mistake, <laughs> I shall engage the Jingle Blaster. <laughs> and together we will destroy... The Changeling! The Changeling Pod. I am ready to fire on your mark. <laughs> oh my gosh! Whoa. What? <laughs> it's indestructible. <gasps> The changelings There's a bullet. are indestructible. indestructible. This can't be. No, 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 no! I say you're a coward, them up. I say we eat of their flesh and become as they are, and together we ascend to the heavens. That's treasonous talk, soldier. You never know which one it's gonna be. <laughs> and 120. Hey, uh, guys, just for reals, I'm sorry I panicked back there. It's like, you know, I'm sure it's fine. We're yeah. gonna get this changeling. Yeah, we're right? gonna get we're him. Gonna, yeah. We're gonna destroy it. He'll be dead and gone. Why don't you sit this one out, champ? It's all yeah, right. That's cool. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I, we got this. We got it's, this. It's gonna be A-OK. -okay. He's making me nervous. I never thought I'd see the day. Safety protocol alpha. Safety protocol beta. It just doesn't do it. It's OK, guys. I mean, they're real tough, those changeling egg sacs. All right, Sergeant. It looks like critical mistake is out of the game. All right. Fire back up around. Whoa! Did we miss it? No, it exploded upon it the pumpkin. Exploded upon impact. Oh, oh, no! 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 They won! They won! I am become immortal! I live! He's My lost to us. I think it's time to put him out of his misery. Load him up again. Let's shoot him in the face. All right. Let's hey, go hunting. <laughs> I'll get the ghillie suit. All right, so, so what did we learn today, guys? That Brian's a traitor to the human race. I learned that I'm willing to evolve, and I'm <laughs> sorry you guys are stuck in your poor, unevolved human bodies. I mean, you make it look really fun. Mm -hmm. but yeah. All right, well, if I wanted to study your activities, know about your whereabouts, plan for our next encounter, where should I go? We're on YouTube at Evan and Caitlin. And uh, Evan and, and Caitlin everywhere, yeah. And uh, you've got uh, a video specifically about how to make crucial mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, so we do. <laughs> learn how to make things far better than we can over at uh, Evan and Caitlin's YouTube. And uh, you can also view a channel that doesn't have anyone who's a traitor to the human race. Mm. That's true. Yeah. We yeah. approve of your messaging. The future of this channel is getting darker and darker as we speak. Yeah. We ascend to the stars. We ride on the sun sails of the universe. I think we're going to rebrand. You belong to us. Uh, you are meant to be you with me. You guys want to go get lunch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get lunch. yeah. Get I'm, I'm quite hungry. Like non-pumpkin. I'm gonna yeah. hang lunch. out for a little bit. That's cool. Enjoy your new friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no.
not everything in the Matrix was bad. Like, the ability to download knowing things? How rad is that? Like, oh. like, like you're just sitting there like, dude, 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 I know Kung Fu, or I'm gonna learn Jiu Jitsu, or I need to know how to fly an airplane, or whatever. Yeah, no, that's uh, that, that's pretty good. Yeah. I have long wished for that. Yeah, guess what? It exists. What? That's right, Skillshare. Skillshare is like downloading modules that let you know things. I think it's called learning. <laughs> it's called learning. <laughs> Skillshare classes are these perfect modules that bring you the best lessons from the people at the top of their field for all kinds of things. Uh, many of which are of great importance to an individual entrepreneur like yours truly. For example, the, the MailChimp classes. I don't know how this show could exist if it weren't for MailChimp. And if I had the ability to learn in one hour from an expert everything that they gave in there at the beginning, we, we probably would have double the subscribers. So I have taken a cinematography class in person two times and uh, to be honest with you, it didn't stick. There are some great- I've seen your work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, it didn't it didn't work out. Uh, but uh, Skillshare has these great curated videos that are up to date using the latest technology and software and so forth, where you can watch pros do this, pause it, back it up, take the course again, take it as many times as you like, because when you sign up, you get access to their entire database. And freaking unlimited access for less than $10 a month? Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. Plus you get two months free if you're one of the first 500 people to go to skl.sh slash rogue three. I assume this is the third time we mentioned Skillshare. I think it might be. That's it, it might be. I think that might, might be, be how they're keeping track. Just gonna keep doing this. Just keep doing that, yeah. It's really like the Dancing Baby gif on a GeoCities page. Ooga chaka, ooga, ooga. <laughs> Wait, content ID. That's good. We get, Okay, go to skl.sh forward slash rogue three. Yeah. Be one of the first 500, get two months free. Yeah, and there may be dance classes where you can learn the dance. I bet, I bet there is. Prob there probably is or, you know, better dances. Would you like to hear a secret? <laughs> no, I'm good on secrets today. It's all full on secrets. It's a very good secret indeed. And the secret is... I hope this will get a lot of views. <laughs>